So sometimes with geometric sequences, they want you to try to find an initial amount when they give you the infinite sum. Remember, infinite sums can only be found if you have an r value that's between negative 1 and 1. And you'll notice here in this first example, they're saying that my r value is equal to 0 0.95, so that's, that's less than 1 there. And they've given us an infinite sum, so this information tells us the infinite sum is equal to 660. I know my r is equal to 0 0.95. And my initial amount, remember that's A in the formula, we're trying to figure it out. Put the infinite sign there. So again, using my formula, I try to find R if it's not given to me, but here it is. So maybe they'd give you two terms and you'd have to figure out what R is, potentially. But here they've given us R, and so we're going to plug R and the infinite sum directly into the formula. So the infinite sum is equal to 660. Um, and that's equal to a, which I don't know, divided by 1 minus 0 0.95 and put that into solver or into your calculator and you should get a here is equal to 33. So we're saying the initial amount for this particular circumstance was equal to 33. As another example here find the initial amount when r is equal to negative 0 0.2, so that's okay because it's between negative 1 and 1, and our infinite sum is 24, so here the infinite sum is equal to 24. So I'm looking for a, I'm going to plug this into my formula, so the infinite sum is equal to 24, and that's equal to something I don't know, which is a, divided by 1 minus a negative 0 0.2, you plug it in directly like that, you should be able to get your calculator to do it. Um, but if not, you're doing it by hand, watch your negatives. Minus a minus is the same thing as a positive. And you should get here, a is equal to 28.8, so that's our initial amount. So it'll often be a word problem, you'll have to read through it and figure out the bits. But again, if you have an infinite sum, you know R, and you're looking for the initial amount, you can use solver, just plug in what you know, and solve for the rest.